and you walk in front of someone and you do this with your scarf and they're like, dwelling, excuse me, what are you wearing? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we do have a video request. Today's video request comes from Marlene. She says, howdy, I hope this message finds you well. Well, thank you. She's saying, Sheree, I have heard you mention several times that you lived in Chicago and I know it's really cold there. I was wondering if you can give us five cents. I'm thinking something like winter, like Marshall Fields, holidays, window shop, shopping, cozy, fireplace, family gatherings, different things like that for that time of year. Girl, I got you. So yes, sit back. I do have a little bit of something for everyone. If you want to see what they are, please continue to watch. Thank you so much, Marlene, for your video request. You guys do not forget to submit your video requests because your video could be up next. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something you'd be into or want to be a part of, stop what you're doing. Take 2.5 seconds. Drop me your of the day right now because I want to know what you're rocking. Also, if this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't be a stranger. Come over, say hi on Instagram, and while you're at it, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. That way you will never miss a video over here. Without further ado, we're jumping into this video right now. Hey besties! Okay, so you guys, I'm going to start with this one here. This is Tonka Cola. This is by Mincere. This is a beautiful fragrance. I did receive this. Gifted to me from Twisted Lily, so should you want to pick it up, I will have a temporary discount code in the description box below where well, all of these fragrances will be linked. I first received this in the summer. It was a bit much for me. I'm not gonna hold or keep you. I was like, wow, this is a bit much. It is extremely hot. I wasn't getting the vibe, but I knew as soon as the weather got cold, this would be a hit and it is. It's like a warm spicy fragrance it's vanilla it's nutmeg it's cozy it's cherry i'm obsessed with cherry right now you guys it also has amber orange blossom patchouli like i said it's fizzy it's kind of like cola it's got some benzoin down in the base it's a beautiful fragrance I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, let me just say this, it's sexy. And I smelt it when I first smelt it, I was like, okay, it's sexy, but I can't compartmentalize this because it's like 105 out. And this just isn't something that I would reach for. But now the weather has gotten cold and you are so right, Marlene. I spent a lot of time in Chicago. I lived there for many, many years and it is like my home away from home. I'm there all the time. I love it there, the people, the food, the um, scenery, the architect, I mean, it's, it's shy, okay, it's the shy. Yes, I am a shy girl at heart. This right here would be a phenomenal choice and it is absolutely long lasting. I move on. This, another one would be this one here, which is Vanilla Dioroma. This is from the private collection over at Dior, you guys. This is so good. I sleep in this. I'm so guilty of sleeping in this. This is very comforting. It's very cozy. It's perfect for holidays, perfect for family get together, cuddling by the fireplace, cozy enough, <laughs> cozy enough, cuddling up by the fireplace, close encounters. It's very like warm. It's very, just like I said, like cozy, like something you can wrap yourself in. If you ever wore like a white cashmere sweater or something like a nice shawl, something like that, that you just like comforted yourself with, wrapped yourself, engulfed yourself with, this is that type of fragrance. It's a gourmand even. It's the rum note in here that really gets me. It's pink pepper, it's cacao, it's cardamom, bourbon vanilla. It's got some sandalwood and patchouli down in the base. It's pretty long lasting. I mean, I can sleep in this and go to, oh God, I can sleep in this and go to bed and wake up and still smell it. Let me give you a quick 2.5 story. This fragrance reminds me when I say family gathering, so I totally got where you were going with that. When I was a girl, my dad used to make eggnog, or I, I don't know if he made eggnog or if it was just, he did something with it. Because he would make eggnog and he would pour it in and I used to love eggnog as a girl and he would put like the nutmeg in or some type of cinnamon swirl, something on top. And so I would get fat and vanilla pudding a lot of times and that would be my dessert of choice. And every time I spray this on, it takes me back to that memory. So I would definitely say in the gourmand family, perfect for the holiday season. I move on. Um, another one would be Scarlet Poppy. This is soft, this is pretty. This is gonna get on you, hold you tight. It's not a skin scent. I sleep in this a lot. I wear this out. I mix this with tons of fragrances. This and Cardamom Mimosa, oh my gosh, it's a match made in heaven. It is so good. I love this Scarlet Poppy. It's fig, it's orris, it's musk, it's tonka bean. It's got some barley heliotrope down in the base. It is Joe Malone. It's soft, it's pretty. This is even something I would wear on a date like say for instance i'm meeting up with somebody and we're starting a date 
you know, during the holidays because it is cuffing season. Hello? Oh, I would reach for something like this. And something about this smells opulent, kind of elegant and classy at the same time. So it's like a win. This right here can get it. Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy is a win all the way around. I move on. I'm obsessed with cherry right now. So this Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 is another good one. That's really good. Anytime it's like fruity, it's kind of gourmand. It's got the cherry note in there. It's vanilla, it's rose, it's praline down in the base, jasmine. It's beautiful. It's, um, amber, it's woody. It's not the best on longevity, but it's not the worst either. I mean, it's not really bad. I would say about four or five hours, I spray heavy. I spray my clothes. We already know eight to 10, 10 to 12, and I definitely hit it with the sprinkler system. I move on. Another one, this is newer to my collection, but this was a love at first sniff. I walked in store, I took off the cap. I was speaking with the sales associate. I smelled it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. And this is very different from the other ones. And that is this one here. This is Lore by Dior. And this was created by Mason Francis Kirk John along with Dior or I should just say Francis Kirk John. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is a 2023 release. It is definitely deeper. It's a whole lot more sensual. It doesn't give me that fresh clean. If anything, it gives me sensual. Date night. I feel this can be a signature scent. This can be day night. It's very versatile. It can just get it. It felt very familiar when I first sprayed it and smelt it. It gave me reminisce of so many things that I had already smelt, but in a good way. Um, the quality seems there. It seems like it has a happy beat in there, like a mood lifting and upbeat type of vibe. It's classy, it's pretty, it's elegant, it's sophisticated. It's something that I would reach for. Oh my God, this is really good. This is good. This was a love at first sniff. A few of them know you guys, it's orange blossom. It's very simple. Violet, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley. I put anytime, anywhere, any place. Signature scent worthy, soft, and pretty. I move on. Sticking with our vanilla themed. I don't know how this video turned into vanilla, but a lot of my fragrances are vanilla. I do like vanilla, okay? This is Softenade. This is by Parfums de Mali. I haven't had this in my collection long at all, but it's already got a dent. I love this one too. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. They're comforting. They're comforting and they make me feel good and they're cozy and it's cold outside. And this is what I reach for. I like to keep the house cold anyway because that's the way that I sleep. So with it, the weather cooling off and it being even more cooler outside. This is just very comforting to sleep in. It's yellow floral, orange blossom, vanilla, it's amber, it's sandalwood down in the base. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. It's sexy. It's romantic. I feel it's classy. It's timeless. It can be worn to any holiday gathering. It could be worn on a date. It could be worn just to chill in the house. This right here can just fit the bill and it pairs so well with Valaya. I said it, I don't care, I said it. It pairs well with Valaya. Okay, I move on, I move on. Another one that's really, really nice is this one here. For cooler weather, I was in Chicago, actually. I'm so happy you asked about Chicago because I know that. Um, and my guy was wearing this. We were there for like a weekend or a few days and every day he kept wearing this and he would wear it. And I'm like, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And he was like, you know, he don't ever know the name of nothing. But I was like, 100, he said something. And I was like, okay, you mean 100 Silent Ways? And he was like, yeah, that one. This is the Estrate de Parfum. This is so super good. I don't reach for it all the time. He reaches for it more than I do. But this is the type of season that I do start to reach for. This is a white floral. It's vanilla. It's two bros, mandarin orange, sandalwood. It has vitiver down in the base. The blend of this fragrance is so smooth and so classy and so perfect for the holiday season. It just gives me that vibe already because we made so many memories that weekend with this fragrance. I, I mean, he was spraying it every day like, I spray heavy, he sprays like, oh my gosh, leave some in the bottle. We just took like a sample with us for the weekend and it was gone by the time we left. So anyways, um, yes, I would highly recommend this, 10 out of 10. And if you see this video during the time that I am having a 30% off with Soa Vanguard, it is gonna go from, hold on, cause I wrote myself a note. It's gonna go from 1110 to 1115. You can pick up a lot of these on Soa Vanguard for 30% off. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box. No need to worry, I move on. Another newer one, 30% off, a part of this as well. This is, oh my gosh, you guys, this is Island Lush. I told you I thought that this was going to be like more of a summer fragrance. Well, girl, girl, I was wrong. This is so fitting for right now. It's so sexy, it's so comforting, it's so hot, it's so heavy. I love this one because this is out of the smooth blend. I mean, it's still smooth, but it's gonna give you a little hot, heavy. It's gonna give you some spicy, and that's what I love. It's gonna give you a little bit of pepper. Yep, I do it, I do it. Sandalwood, iris, pink pepper, nutmeg, patchouli, leather, benzoin, 
oud. So it's getting a little hotter, a little heated, more heavier, more sensual, more date night. And that's what I love. So say for instance, you were meeting with friends, a guy, a girl, a boo, a bae, whoever, and you wanted to stand out. You wanted to come in just a little bit more intense, a little bit more in their face, be a little bit more distractive, chaotic, whatever you want to call it, that's going to disturb the peace and get some attention. This is one that you would want to go with. This is so, oh my God, see these? Whoa, 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 whoa. These are the kind of fragrances that just do it for me. Yes, I love the soft. Yes, I love the pretty. Yes, I love the cozy, the amber, the saffron, the vanilla. But when you get into the benzoin and the patchouli and the oak moss and agarwood and you guys, I don't know what this stuff be, but oh my gosh, those are the type of notes I'm drawn to. This is so well blended and it is so uber, uber good. And it captures my whole mood for date night during the holidays. I would definitely recommend this. 10 out of 10, I move on. I got this towards the end of last year. I believe this was gifted to me by Twisted Lily as well. This is Amourage and this is Material. If you know, you know. I mean, they have some complex fragrances, but the ones that I have been able to compartmentalize, compartmentalize, like Guidance, like Beach Hunt, like this one here, like the other one called Something Blossom that I don't have in my collection quite yet, but it's coming. This is so good. This is another amber, beautiful, sexy fragrance. It's very warm, patchouli, Madagascar vanilla, Tonka Beam, Labdamum, Othamanthus, Oud, sexy, a good time, a long time, perfect for cold weather. Perfect for cold weather. This is something that you put on and you have like a long trench coat on, you've got your scarf, your gloves, your boots, and it's cold and the wind is blowing. This is a type where you open your mouth and you get the white because it's just so cool from your breath. It's just like cool air. And you walk in front of someone and you do this with your scarf and they're like, dwelling, excuse me, what are you wearing? <laughs> That is this. I love this. I move on, you guys. I've got to move on. This one here I received from the brand. This was Bond Perfumery. You guys, they have amazing fragrances. I believe I have a discount code for this one as well. This is Amber, Iris, and Santal. If you do not like Amber, this is not for you because this smells like Amber on 10. It is so good. If you like, Maison Francis, Kirk John's Grand Swordsworline. You will love this. This is really, really good. You don't need a lot. You don't need a spray heavy. It's gonna disturb the peace, but in a good way. It's mild enough for me to sleep in with only one or two sprays. But anything after that is gonna disturb the peace of the sleep. But this right here is good, good. I would highly recommend perfect for this type of season. I move on. Very holiday vibes too. It definitely gives holiday vibes. I talked to you guys about this one last year and I'm so excited. I wore this a lot in Chicago. I try to grab ones that I wore in Chicago or that I have worn in cold, cold weather because we all know here in LA, it don't really be that cold. Although last year, I did have to bring out my big jacket. So let's see what this year is giving. Right now, you guys, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm getting ready to go to brunch and it's like 85, 90 outside. I'm like, I don't know what to wear. I wanna wear my cute stuff that's all, you know, like my sweaters and my jackets, cause I love that. I love this type of year, you know, or time of year, I should say, because the, the fashion for me is where it's at. Like, I love layers, I love dressing, and I love like, you know, the, the outerwear and the boots and then matching it with the bags and the hats and the scarves, I love that. But I don't know what this weather is given. It hasn't caught up yet, but this is Van Cleef and our apparel and this is Precious Oud. I talked to you guys about this last year. If you haven't been here for a while or if you've never been here and you're new to the channel, girl, guy, let me introduce you to Precious Oud. This is so good, you guys. This is from the Extraordinary Collection. It is a white floral, pink pepper, jasmine, tube rose. It has Oud, sandal. I mean, they all have like the same notes. Hey, these are all different fragrances, but if you see, I have been saying the same notes, you guys. It gives reminisce to Tom Ford's Black Orchid, so if you like that, you'll love this. It's beast mode. It's enormous when it comes to sillage and projection. It's going to get some attention, hold some attention, keep some attention. Most of these fragrances, and you know how I feel anyway, are men, woman, boy, child, human. They're unisex. Anybody and everybody can pull up and wear them. This right here is really good. Like I said, those are the notes that are in it. It's going to be with you for, oh my God, for a good time, for a long time. See, this is a dressier fragrance too. So let's put it in perspective. Let's say that you've got an, a formal event coming up. Let's say you're gonna go with your guy, your boo, your bae, your girl, whoever, to like an outing, one of their holiday parties. You're going to a holiday party. You're meeting somebody. One of the ladies told me she was going to the holiday party at the church um, and she was trying to get with one of the deacons. I'm not telling your business. You said, you said, just don't say no names. So 
a uh, girl, this would be one to wear. I'm just saying, I'm just, I don't know. It may be too much. I, I, I don't know. Just smell it and let me know what you think. Okay, I move on. I move on. Finally, I'll tear by Parfume Somali. This was a recent launch. This would be amazing. This is holiday in a bottle. This is Thanksgiving. This is Christmas. This is Christmas brunch, Christmas breakfast, friends givens, cousins givens, all the givens. This is giving. Okay, all the givens, this is given. This is so good. The The first time I smelled this, I was just thinking like, okay, this is like, you know, sweet potato pie. This is like very, um, it doesn't have sweet potato pie notes, you guys, or it doesn't have pumpkin pie notes or any of those, but it just gives you that. It's very gourmand. It has orange flower. It has cinnamon, vanilla, Madagascar. It has praline, musk, guyac wood, all the same notes that I have been saying through this entire video, okay? This is good. This is really, I knew this was good. The first time I smelled it, I was like, oh God, it's good. And you know what I'm going to say? And if you've been here before, you've heard me say this. This smells different on each person that I smelt it on. Like I said, on me, it gave very sweet vibes. They're not overly sweet, just sweeter. On some, it gave more of a warm, spicier vibe. And then on some, it just gave more of a, it just laid flat. So this is definitely one I would say try. I'm always recommending try before you buy, but if you can pop into a Nordstrom's or a store like that that carries it, I would definitely say try these on your skin. And I wanna make a mention of that as well. Whenever you are testing out fragrances and you are trying them, yes, it's always nice to spray them on a blotter card. And I do that merely to refresh myself of what the scent smells like. But if I'm ever going in to purchase a fragrance or it's my first time smelling it or trying it, I will always spray it on my skin. I will then allow, if I have time, 45 minutes to an hour for a wear down just to see how the fragrance is going to sit thrive and you know um on my skin because it's different on everyone so yes i may get a blotter card or what have you and do a quick spray and do one of these numbers but nine times out of ten i've either smelt the fragrance before and i know how it sits and wears on me and i'm refreshing myself or a lot of times if it is my first time spraying it, I will do it this way just to see what the initial is. But you're never gonna know what a fragrance is truly going to do or how it's truly going to perform on you. Where is this girl coming from? <laughs> Am I educating? Hello, excuse you. <laughs> Informative and entertaining, Dolly. Anyways, um, but yeah, if you're you know going in and you really wanna see how it's going to thrive and perform on you, always try it on clean, hydrated, moisturized skin. That is it, you guys. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the description box below. Also, if you have a video request, leave it down in the description box, but it's a lot faster and I see it a lot faster if you come over and you DM me on Instagram. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much, Marlene. Hopefully this has been helpful. I enjoy talking about fragrances, you guys, and when you give me a theme or a reason, and so many of you have, I have so many video requests coming. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darling. Thanks for watching. Bye.